Hello, my name's Chris Hammond, Chris Stock on Twitter, and I recently attended the NASA Ames tweet up. This is a time lapse video of a camera I was wearing on my chest. So we started out in the morning outside of the Exploration Center. We all checked in, got ourselves squared away, and then kind of hung out and talked for a while. After that, we were opened up into the Exploration Center. You can see I took a quick dive through the gift shop so I wouldn't have to do that in the afternoon. From there, the rest of us went in and uh, kind of hung out for a while, explored a little bit. And then we had a session uh, where we had presentations from scientists. After that, we took off and uh, went off to lunch. Uh, it was a little unorganized. Uh, I think the catering had canceled at the last minute, so we had to hit the cafeteria. And uh, it took quite a while for some of us to get the food, but it uh, turned out to be decent nonetheless. And uh, I ended up eating my food on the bus. After lunch, we went over and uh, got to spend some time with some of the NASA scientists that worked on Kepler. Uh, in this particular session, we got to hear some of the uh, data that came back from Kepler uh, from a kind of an audio perspective. And then we went and uh, got to see some other sections of the, the Kepler information. We got to spend some time in the server room, another conference room with some, some more presentations from actually programmers. Uh, so it was interesting from my perspective. I'm a, I'm a software developer, so I got to see quite a bit there. Uh, after that, we went over and went to, the, I believe, the Fluid Dynamics Laboratory. Uh, we spent our time kind of watching and, and learning about some of the wind tunnel uh, research and work they do there. So we got to see a variety of wind tunnels. This was the largest one uh, in that particular building. And then we went over and uh, actually got to see a wind tunnel in action. Uh, wasn't anything in it, but uh, a lot of wind. So we got to see the, see the wind tunnel and, and hear the differences from the uh, disturbance the walls create. Now from there, we then took off to what I consider the kind of best part of the whole day. We get to go up into the flight tower uh, air traffic control simulation room. And it was amazing. It was a, uh, a two-story building with basically a full virtual reality flight center. Uh, we get to spend some time with the kind of proposed new airport for Las Vegas. And then we get to spend some time on, uh, on Mars. So that uh, was very interesting to see. After that, we kind of took off, went outside, took a few pictures, and got back on the bus so we could uh, head off to the next journey. From there, we went into the simulator area. So we got to hear a couple of the uh, scientists talk about the simulations that they run. Uh, I believe this is the world's largest uh, simulator. Uh, they have five uh, control or consoles, I guess they can kind of reconfigure. Uh, it's primarily used for space shuttle testing and, and training. Uh, we got to go into kind of a lunar module simulator that uh, I barely fit into. And then from there, we get to kind of see the simulator in action. It was a huge, uh, huge setup there. And uh, it was very interesting to see that thing go up 11 stories and, and down and left and right, forward and back. So I want to thank everyone at uh, NASA's Ames Research Center for putting this on. Uh, we had a great time, and uh, I look forward to going to a NASA tweet up again in the future.